It was a great football. You played very well today. Thank you, Nora. Hey, Nick. Check out this new game. I got on my tablet. It's the coolest game ever. Yeah. Hold on. I just need to put my password. Ah, oh, no. I forgot my password. Know what to do? Don't worry. I have all my passwords safely written on my diary. Let's check. Achoo! Oh, uh, no. I can't read the last number. It all vanished. Can you remember what they were? No. But I remember that I used a pattern. Pattern? Patterns are arrangements of things that are repeated in a systematic, sequential way. We can see patterns everywhere. Okay. Can you guys help Nick and me to understand pattern? Awesome! Looks like Nick is using a number pattern for his password. All we need to do is to find out the last three numbers of the password. Let's see if we can find some pattern in these number. 3, 4, 5 3, 4, 5 Hmm, can you guess? So, the number are repeating themselves after third number. 3, 4, 5 3, 4, 5 do you know what comes after 3, 4, 5? Yes! The next number in the pattern is 3, 4, 5. Let's try it out. Yes, we got it! Let's try other given patterns. We can see that the above pattern is made up of slanting lines. One can make beautiful rangolis by using the patterns created by slanting lines and curved lines. Patterns can also be formed by using our hands and feet. People usually use prints of their palm, wrist, feet, to create beautiful patterns. Thumbprint patterns are also common. Hands, feet. Hands, feet. Can you guess? Yes! Now the pattern is hands and feet. Come on, let's try another one. Circle. Square, circle, square. Hmm, can you guess? What's next? Is it a square? No. Is it a circle? Yes. The pattern is circle, square, circle, square. Circle, square. Hooray! Activity time. Complete the pattern. Heart, flower. Heart, flower. Can you guess? Chocolate, candy. Chocolate, candy. What's the next? <laughs> 